Hello my lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. My people who allegedly they said the Oni sister have decided to encourage Queen Naomi on this journey. Mm -hmm. When I know say recently, uh, the Oni sisters who have been encouraging Mariam who have been supporting Mariam and the rest of the Soloris in the palace have decided to change their attitude, you know. This time they have started to fight any one of them that are not doing well. So, the last time they said uh, they came for Ronke and Ronke was just crying and, and all of that. And when they came for Mariam, Mariam ran away. <laughs> okay, oh. but the funny thing is this. According to what we are hearing, these people are the ones who brought Mariam into the palace, who supported Mariam, who have been telling Mariam, don't worry, we are behind you and all of that. I wonder why they turn around to fight that same Mariam, I even Ronke, because during this fake pregnancy of Ronke, then they, 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 they really uh, uh, fought Ronke. To the extent they say Ronke went and reported to the king's father and all of that. So my people, all this time around, they have come out. And according to what we are hearing, they say that they are out to support Queen Naomi to fight back at this Oloris. That Queen Naomi should stop hiding. That he should, she should give these women back to back. She should give them woto woto so that they will know their stand in the palace. Because they are repeating what they are doing. And they doing more because Queen Naomi kept quiet all this while concerning the whole thing. That the best thing to do is for her to come out fully and, and face these women. So that they will stop all this drama, you know, and all of that. And I was like, is this really coming from these women? Because to me, that is not a good idea at all, at all. Queen Naomi have better things to do with her life rather than fighting women over her husband. Women who are old enough to be her mother. I don't think that is a good idea. Well, guys, what do you think? Yes, it's not a good idea because the person that he wants to fight for is not giving her, giving her the full support. Because if really, if really the king wants her back, it is uh, when Queen Naomi wants to fight and the king gives her his full support, that is the only time that he is going to win the battle. But if he is fighting... And the king is not supporting her. If she's, she came out to, if she come out to fight this battle, and the king did not give her the full support, you will find out that there, she cannot achieve anything out of it. Rather, she might even put herself in danger. Because she's got a lot to do. Her ministry, her, her church work is enough. Taking care of today is enough than fighting for uh, 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 old ladies like this. Days are gone when women fight over a man. No, you shouldn't. I'm, I'm not a supporter of this idea. Seriously, I saw it and I said, mm, it's not the best thing for her to do. If the king really wants her, it is left for the king to fight to get her back and not the other way around. So the idea of telling Quenomi to stop hiding, come out and fight for your right, it is your right. After all, the moment you come back and put them in their place, everybody is going to know his, her stand in the palace and all of that. Mm -hmm. Is the, uh, uh, the king, is he ready to stand by her? That is the question. Because if the king is telling all these women, don't worry, I will handle it, they will not be worried. They will be waiting. And when it comes to that uh, aspect, the king will tell Queen Naomi, look, I married you the same way I married all these women. So if you cannot cope with them, you can go and all of that. You see that it's just a waste of time and a shameful fight. So I believe Queen Naomi is bigger than that kind of fight. You know? If there's anyone to fight that kind of fight, it's all the Soloris who knows that their place is not in that palace. So, but telling Queen Naomi, you have every right. You are the first wife. The king is your husband and all of that. Come and fight for your right. You people should fight for her right. The only of your first sisters, it is better that you people fight for her right. After all, it is you people who join force with all these women to drive her out of the palace. So trying to tell her, come back and fight for your right, it's just a waste of uh, saliva and energy. 
or maybe will I say you guys are planning something so that when she comes back you people will carry out your mission but that is never going to happen so stop in, stop uh, encouraging her to come back to fight rather if you really love her and want her back in the palace you guys should be the one to fight for her because you are equal to task you can fight for her and make sure that she returns and not her fighting the same way you guys teamed up with all these ladies to drive her out of her matrimonial home to bring women for your brothers to marry it will be fine that you people join force again to take away all that you have brought to your brothers and uh, so that uh, the real wife will return back to the palace because i can see that the heat you guys are all receiving it the heat from all these ladies that you collected bribe from so that your brother will marry them i am sure they are giving you woto woto the, never, the way you never expected queen nomi is not returning back unless you people make the place conducive for her and prince tate nikawo if not all this uh, come back and fight is just a drama and all of that and i don't even encourage her and from the look of things she's not, she is not even ready to come back to this uh, palace because the palace is not conducive record the, the last time they said she came and they rededicate uh, her altar she didn't spend hours there that is to tell you that, that uh, the place is not conducive for her she's no more relaxed in your palace so if you want your palace to still accommodate uh, her royal highness prophetess queen naomi you go and do the cleansing you know cleanse all those women the same way you brought them in find a way to send them out so that the place will be good for her return if not tell your brother to release her because she deserves to be happy i'm sure you guys are, are happy in your marriages she deserves to be happy in her own marriage guys i don't know what I don't know what to think about this whole thing. Telling Kwenomi to come back and fight for her rights and all of that. The same way you guys fought her and drive her out. If you really want her back, fight the same way because I know you can do it if you want to. But if you have any ulterior motive about uh, preaching her to come back, just know that it is not going to happen. Yes, it is not going to happen. And if you miss her that much, do the needful so that she will return back. If not, tell your brother. Because the same way you guys are wasting her time, God will waste your, if not you people, your daughter's time the same way when it is time. Because what goes around comes around. The same way you guys frustrated her out of your, her marriage, it will get to all of you one after the other. If it did not get to you directly, it will get to your daughters or your sons. They, will never go in, they are never going to enjoy their marriage the same way you people make Quenomi not to enjoy hers, unless you do the needful and either bring her back or settle her. But if not, in one way or the other, God will be punishing all of you. Anyways, my people, that's why I say I'm all, mm -hmm. don't forget that they are all alleged information because I do not live in the palace. I did not even hear it from them. But if it is true, they should go and have a rethink over it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Don't forget, I still love you. Bye for now.